All right, I'm here speaking with Nicole Newlist, and uh, we're uh, at B-Sides, and we were just chatting a little bit about, uh, you've done a lot of hacking in your in your past, uh, as well as uh, being an attorney. Yeah, had those lawyer days, decided that hacking computers was a lot more fun than throwing papers around, so made the change, and now I'm doing security. And now uh, you just recently uh, took a delve into penetration testing. Yeah, exactly. I, I've been working for AccuMount for a little over a year now, um, but the first nine months or so I was doing scoping engagements, which was great to give me a perspective on how a consulting company works, because I'd never worked for one before. But beginning of March, I joined the pen testing side, and it's fascinating, but it's been it's been crazy. <laughs> well, first, what made you decide to do that? Just a new adventure, or what made you decide to start pen testing? Yeah. Or well, I mean, that had been my, that had been my goal all along. You know, when I decided, okay, I'm not doing law anymore. What do I want to do? The first decision I had to make was, okay, I know I want it to be computers, but do I want to be a programmer? Or do I want it to be more focused on infrastructure? I'm like, I decided I wanted to be more focused on infrastructure, and I was already going to security events. I knew a lot of people in security, and I'm like, hey, that looks like fun. And so, you know, practice hacking VMs in my spare time, and so, that, I mean, that was my goal all along. I did IT for a while, and then I moved into the scoping position, and then into the pen test role. Okay, and so uh, give us the rundown as a noob in the pen test world. Uh, uh, you know, what's the most challenging things you're finding right now? I think the most challenging thing is going from that mindset of, okay, I've got these VMs, it's my own personal lab, I'm hacking around for fun, to, oh my goodness, this is still fun, but my clients, you know, they, they expect me to be right. They expect me to... They expect me to find everything, and their security depends on my ability to run the penetration test, to find things that they hadn't found yet. And, you know, it's a little daunting, but what's really nice about, you know, both where I work as well as the security community at large is if I run into something that confuses me, I've got plenty of people that I can... I, I can ask, I can be like, okay, you know, what's a good resource on this? And I don't think I would be able to do it without knowing so many people who can help point me in the right direction. Okay, so uh, what, as far as the uh, uh, the breadth of your uh, penetration testing, I mean, you're not just running simple scans. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, I, I, fo I focus mainly on network level. I do a little bit of application work, but yeah, it's... Scanning is just the beginning of it. There's, you know, it's both finding, you know, what, but, you know, scanners are helpful. They find things, but they're also full of false positives. And there are things that they're not nearly so good at finding, like, especially web applications. I mean, the more I do web applications, the more I love them. And, you know, it's a lot of manual, okay, this kind of attack doesn't work, but it's still, you know, reflecting my input like what's the filter how can I bust this and you know it takes a lot of thought it takes a human being and it takes a human being with security experience who likes to mess around with it and so would you say uh, uh, as far as uh, you know in penetration testing then uh, uh, a lot of folks do go out and just say you know hire the external scans uh, they get a big stack of reports uh, and they think uh, basically if they've mitigated what they found on there that they're okay so what are they missing by not having the manual uh, you know penetration tester come in and really try to, to get into things you know they're, they're missing whatever the makers of the scanner haven't put in there they're missing they're missing human level thought and expertise. I mean, it's kind of hard for me to say they're missing this vuln or that vuln or the other vuln because it's very heavily dependent on you know what the network is set up, what kinds of services they're running. And you know, you can look around all you want, but if you don't have somebody who knows what they're doing to interpret the results and to find you know where to go further, I mean, it's not just it's not just, you know, the scanner won't find stuff, but also sometimes the scanner will come back and like, oh my God, high level vulnerability, this is bad, this is bad. And it's like, well, what's behind it? A scanner is not going to know if it's just, if there's no data behind it or if there's, you know, the crown jewels, credit card data, PII, whatever behind there. Somebody has to put their intelligence in and be like, okay, what's what's worth going after what's actually bad and that takes that takes a person to make that judgment exactly exactly it takes a person who knows you know both your environment and who knows security 
And so uh, for some of these uh, you know, B-sides, we get a lot of younger folks who are just moving into the security world, a lot of them finishing their education stuff. What kind of advice can you give them uh, if they're looking to move into penetration testing as their focus? Um, the best advice that I can give is, you know, if you're, he if you're here at B-sides, you're doing it right. Um, you know, as much, as much fun as you're having, you know, at home playing around with your computers, playing around in your lab, that's extremely important, but getting to know people is extremely important too because you know there are people here who may you know know more about things than more about certain things than you do and may know less about certain things than you do so come out go to go to b-sides go to local security meetups you know i live in chicago so i've got shy sec burb sec defcon 312 find a meetup go there and meet people because you know the people that you meet they will teach you a lot of stuff about what they've done and they'll probably learn a thing or two from you as well. Excellent. Nicole, th thanks a lot for taking the time out to talk with us and, uh, and also for uh, volunteering here at B-Sides. Thank you.